Welcome to my presentation of the highlights of our com contribution to Petronet 2021. The paper I'm presenting is Computing Parent Choice Invariance of Parent Choice Petronets. This is joint work with Javier Sparsa and Mikhail Raskin. So, Parent Choice Petronets, what is it? It's a specification with uh, parameter n, which is a representation of the size of the Petronet. So the idea is you plug in a size and the Parent Choice Petronet specification gives you a Petronet of that size. What does it mean to be of that size? Well, an instance, uh, the basis of the parameterized patronet is a finite set of places. And as soon as you fix the size, the set of places for, this, for the instance is fixed as n copies of the underlying set of places. This means we get a copy for the index 0, a copy for the index 1, the copy for the index 2, and so on, until we have uh, a copy for each index uh, smaller than the size we've chosen for our patronet. And the transition of the Petronet of an instance are specified via a weak S1S formula, and we get a model class of that weak S1S formula. This enables us to get a very rich class of, uh, of parent trust systems, modeled uh, where the instances are each modeled with Petronet. But since it's so rich, we are going to restrict ourselves again. Specific topologies are what, we are what we're looking at. For example, symmetric rings. Symmetric rings are basically parent trust systems where only two, uh, which are um, in the topology of a ring, and only two adjacent uh, agents can interact with each other. The canonical examples are the dining philosophers. So let's move them in. Here we have our philosophers, and every philosopher holds a fork. They're competing uh, for uh, the forks they hold uh, until they, so they can eat and hopefully not deadlock. In the classical example, they can deadlock, but this doesn't really matter right now. We will just be discussing how this works. Um, Okay, a fully symmetric ring basically means we have one template of transitions, which is uh, instantiated between two adjacent indices for all adjacent indices. So we fix our uh, template for Socrates and Friedrich, but the then the same template appears between Friedrich and Hannah. Moreover, uh, structural invariants that can be deduced from the transition instances, like traps, are, can be moved around now since our transitions are regular and between every two indices the same. So once we find it between two indices, we can move this around as well. So the trap between Friedrich and Hannah also appears between Socrates and Friedrich. That's, uh, thus, we can use this trap, which we observe in an instance at a very local uh, setting and generalize it to, the, uh, to every instance in this because it's locally restricted. And this gives us readable invariants for parent trust systems, especially like cache coherence protocols and token passing. So I'd be very excited to tell you more if you attend the video of this